Hello, all my fellow Gemini people out there. How are you? I hope you're doing well. Um, I have got our forecast right here for the month of October. Um, I can't wait to share it with you. But first, I'm, I'm, my latest book is available on Amazon. It's called Secrets from the Womb. And it describes in three steps, three simple steps, how to see and release the hidden path that runs your life. Um, <clears throat> this is beyond astrology. This is for those of you on the spiritual path who are sick and tired of being sick and tired, who are uh, fed up with seeing the movie of your life like Groundhog Day repeating itself over and over again um, or even more frustrating uh, when you've had a, a, a beautiful experience and a spiritual experience and then somebody comes along and they're able to punch your buttons and pull you right out of it. So you can get it on Amazon. Um, also, though, some people don't want a book. They want a face-to-face -face session with me. That's great. I will carry you through the, uh, the three steps. Um, just go to my website, Maxine Taylor. Um, get in touch with me, and we will set up a time. It, it's just that simple. Also, some of you have been asking when I'm going to start another series of astrology classes. Um, I'm thinking of doing it in the next couple of months. Uh, if you're interested, go to my website and send me an email and say, I'm interested in the classes. Uh, tell me more. And if you want, a, if you want to learn astrology one-on-one -on -one with me, I'm, um, redoing and, and kind of reliving sending new life out into my mentoring program um during covid it we just couldn't do it people this was just such a difficult time for everybody um and so i'm resurrecting my mentoring sessions if you're interested go to my website send me an email and we'll talk Okay, now let's talk about our forecast, shall we? Oh, you can see all the action is right around here and Jupiter's off by itself in the 12th house. We'll get to that in a second. But let's talk about the sun, the giver of life. Well, it's been in our fifth house and we've been partying. We're ready to party at the drop of a hat. We're ready for fun. Um, if you have children, they want lots of your attention as well. So the fifth house is still uh, fun and games and children. That includes pets too, by the way, because uh, our, our pets are our children. And um, so there's still more fun and games uh, to be had. On the 23rd, the sun moves into our sixth house of work and health and service. Um, and we are out there uh, on the job, really getting busy. I like the way this looks. If your health hadn't been great, the sun is the giver of life. It'll help your health improve. I mean, it, it just, that's just what it does. Um the sun is the center of our world. So it's fun now after the 23rd. It's um, get to a gym and focus on your job and your health. Now, Mars, the red planet, is what's number one to us. And it's right there with the sun. So we've got um, fifth house, games, fun, passion, and job. Wherever the sun is, that's the center of our life. Wherever Mars is, that is num what's number one 
to us, and that's what we'll fight with and fight for. It's a power-packed duo, okay? Mercury, the blue planet, is communication, all right? It's what we think about and talk about. It's in. It's been in our fourth house, so you've been thinking about, we've been thinking about home, family, maybe real estate. Uh, remember, Mercury is not a doer. It's a thinker and a talker. Um, on the fourth, it's going to move into our fifth house, and we're going to be thinking about partying, about children, about fun. On the 22nd, it moves into our sixth house of work, health, and service. And so we've got the sun and Mercury and Mars helping our job and our health. Now, we have Jupiter in the 12th house. Jupiter is the greater benefic. Venus is the lesser benefic. And Venus um, is love and beauty and money too. It's in our third house and we're seeing things through the eyes of beauty and love. It uh, will move into our fourth house of home, family, and real estate on the eighth. And this may simply mean that you want to stay home at, by yourself and enjoy yourself. Don't worry, you won't be a hermit because you've got that fifth house going and you're ready to party. So you won't be alone. So then we go to Jupiter and Jupiter says, go away, I want to be by myself. And this can be a very spiritual time for you also because the 12th house is the spirit plane. It's the subconscious mind. Um, Ju uh, Jupiter is retrograde. And so your information from the other side may be a little bit not clear. Don't worry. Uh, Jupiter is going to go direct in another couple of months. Uh, stay tuned. I'll let you know when that is. And it will uh, bring, it will fulfill its promise of expansion and joy and uh, optimism behind the scenes. Nobody's business, you know what I mean? Now, we have two eclipses. The first one is October 14th. It's in 21 degrees Libra. This is the new moon. Um, it's in our fifth house of fun and games. It's in our fifth house of creativity and children. And remember, we feel the effects of an eclipse uh, at least two weeks before it occurs. And they usually occur in pairs, which um, I'm in the process of explaining right now. And um, they stay with us until the next pair of eclipses come along. However, they're at their peak three to four months after they occur. So you've got this fab, we've got this fabulous fifth house eclipse, and it may not kick in for another three to four months, but it's there. Don't you worry. Then two weeks after the new moon, the solar eclipse, we have the full moon, a lunar eclipse in our 12th house. And of course, Jupiter is there, as I just mentioned. And so we're saying, I want my solitude and privacy. This will be on the 28th of the month, and it will be in five degrees of Taurus. Look up these uh, placements, five degrees of Taurus and 21 degrees of Libra in your birth chart. So you'll have a complete picture. Okay. So, my dear Gemini people, ah, may the stars shine brightly on you and yours. Bye for now.